Okay, so last time in the ghost mode we cleared Itaqua province. So we are heading onward to engage the enemy in another province with our boat team seen here behind me. Hey, are you gonna pick up that chair from the water? Well, we just got the right idea. It's hot outside. We have a lot of stuff on us. So we might as well take a swim to the other side and infiltrate the next region that way. Now, if we die, uh, that means we die. Uh, the entire character will be deleted. Uh, we are running with permadeath here. And uh, that is the rules of permadeath. Uh, the added rule for myself is that I do not get to summon vehicles. And uh, that is basically it for we me. We got tangos, danger close. The Run nice zero. thing about permadeath is that it makes you very cautious. It makes you actually investigate a lot of stuff. Like here we now know that there are tangos in this town that they are guarding a helicopter it's a fairly large base and uh, it might actually be worth clearing it out and taking the helicopter depending on where we need to go so Kavera is armed Bowman, with this is nomad we're on the ground in okoro what have you got for us okoro is the heart of cocaine production in bolivia the network there was built by El Yayo and predates Santa Blanca by more than a decade. When El Yayo joined the cartel and became the boss of production, he handed Okoro off to his grandson, who goes by the name El Emisario. The Emissary. He spends most of his time outside the province, rubbing shoulders with politicians in Sucre, and greasing the wheels for the cartel. Not really his job, but the guy's something of a charmer, and he figures this is the best way to make his grandfather proud. El Yayo lets it slide so long as Okoro continues to produce. Fact is, the network is so well established that it pretty much runs itself. El Emisario's assistant handles the rest. Get in there, gather intel on Okoro's production sites, and start fucking things up. That'll put pressure on El Emisario to come back to Okoro and get things back on track before Granddad finds out. When that happens, we grab him and use him to get to El Yeyo. Getting an upload from Bowman. Looks like she's got some intel on El Emisario. You all know El Yayo, highest ranking Bolivian in the Santa Blanca cartel, and their head of cocaine production. But you may not know his grandson, Gonzalo Yana, AKA El Emisario, the Emissary. Yayo taught Emisario everything he knows, how to produce the best polvo in all of South America, how to maintain relationships with the local Bolivians, and most importantly, how to serve your Santa Blanca masters. Emisario looks up to Yayo, would do anything to honor him, to make him proud. Which is exactly what makes El Emisario the perfect target. His greatest fear is shaming his grandfather. If we hit his coke operation in Okoro, he'll come running back to fix things. That's when we grab him. With a little luck, he'll give us everything we need to know about dear old grandpa. Okay, so that is basically what we need to do. We need to find intelligence first, and there is actually a major intel in this town. So we're gonna run through the Santa Blanca base right here, and uh, grab the intel. No need to be gentle. Just quiet. Tango down. Keep an eye on your back We are clear to engage all targets with extreme prejudice. That Deep looks like a guy we might want to have a talk to. Easy, come in. Let's do what Cavera does best. I Let's got just bring him here. into cover first. How'd you like a free get out of death card? Let's see about the rebel ops. I'll talk, I'll talk! We got a 20 on a cartel killer. Let's put the herd on him. Give him a story to tell his friends. Tango down. So far, so good, people. Let's get into this house up here and get some uh, 
intelligence in the local area. We have a couple of cuts. Familiarize yourselves with Bowman's briefing on Santa Blanca's coke production pipeline. People at the top are El Yayo and La Gringa. Yayo's Bolivian, an ex-cocalero turned cocaine producer. Gringa seems to be a disgraced chemist. She used to work for an NGO here in Bolivia before joining up with the cartel. Let's have a look on uh, their cocaine supply line. El Yayo was born amidst the Bolivian coca. His mother carried him on her back until he was old enough to go to work for himself. For decades, Yayo picked the leaves, fingers blistered, back aching, feet bleeding. But never, in all that time, did he once extract the alkaloids to make cocaine. To Yayo, the coca leaf was an ancient tradition, going back 8,000 years, a medicine, a culture, una planta sagrada. Of course, the Americanos had a different opinion. They called it Plan Dignidad, the Dignity Plan. Although Yayo was no more than a farmer, un cocalero, his world was left in ruins. With no other means available, he was forced to do the one thing that he vowed never to do. He was forced to produce cocaine. In the end, the Americans' efforts to stop cocaine production created one of the greatest cocaine producers to ever live. Well, that seems to have backfired a bit. So, better try and fix this by using a bullet rather than the controlled forest fires. Alright, Tango on the street. He's alone. Tango down. Move up. This is actually what I really lo enjoy about uh, having permadeath as basically a gun to your head. It means that I really need to be careful, really need to think, really need to watch every fucking step I take, or I might, may end up in a gunfight that I cannot get out of. Check it out. Got a location on a cocaine factory operating out of a converted slaughterhouse here in Okoro. What are we waiting for? Let's go light this shit up. Just one problem. The factory door requires a key code to open. So, where do we get the code? According to this, El Emisario's assistant has it. We need to track him down. That might be trickier. Uh, we need to get to the top of the stairs, and if you pardon me, uh, I'm just going to go into my graphics settings. I'm noticing uh, some rather interesting FPS drops. I'm just going to make sure that's saved. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so hopefully that will stabilize my FPS a little bit. Uh, not sure, however. I mean, Ghost Recon Wildlands have always been quite a demanding game, even with a 1060, 6 gigabyte, and um, the pleasure of a SSD. Well, the game is still not uh, running as smoothly as I would like it to. Sure okay, so we are we are, we are suspected. We're suspected, Punch but. It, man. No, I'm not gonna punch it. Not unless the, until the team gets here. Leg it, people. Hopefully, just a helicopter taking off will not be considered problematic. Let's see where exactly we need to go. We need to go, go to. We can go to Kuru Alpha first and use that as a waypoint. There is no guarantee that using a helicopter is the best option for uh, inserting into the target area. And here we go again. I have disabled the tutorial messages, but no. They just keep appearing, and it's annoying as hell. 
Not only because they're visually a bit. Find the access code to the cocaine factory in a Oh, that'll be easy. I can code, already see the guy. And wreck the place. Uh, however, it seems like he actually has an escort. Wait, escort vehicle is destroyed. Escort is being destroyed. Gunships clear. Target firing danger close to target. Eyes up. Let's get back to work. Heads up. I got eyes on the assistant. Watch your shots. We still need him to talk. Keep that ah, Fuck! Oh shit! Oh shit! Use me! Don't kill me! Por favor! I have a family! Access code to the cocaine factory. What is it? I've got two boys. Two little ones. Mis chiquitos, Gustavo and Felipe. I got pictures. You want to see them? No, I don't want to see the damn pictures. Just give me the access code and we're done. Pero que es eso? What's the matter? You don't like kids or something? Jesus. You want to go home to Gustavo and Felipe? Just give me the damn number. Tu bueno. Mire, it's 654-375. That's it, I swear. Okay, we got the code. I'm sending you a virus to upload into the factory's automation software. It'll screw with the chemical processing in subtle ways that'll spoil the coke, then break the machines when someone tries to remove it. That'll cost Santa Blanca a lot of product and take the factory out of action for months. We really should have just finished the job, but no reason to. We have a job to do and we need to get there before he can either alert someone or change the code. And killing him might actually just make things worse. The problem here is that it's going to be a large area to cover. Too large, in fact. Uh, despite the fact we're flying a Santa Blanca bird, it does not mean we can actually put the bird down within the premises without being detected. At least not a, at least not if we want to do this quietly, and that I kinda do. So let's just put this thing down and crap Unidad. Unidad bird on patrol, watch out. Hit the deck, people. Obvi obviously Unidad would be interested to hear why a Santa Blanca helicopter just landed in the middle of the jungle. Keep an eye out. The Unidad helicopter is still patrolling the field up ahead. Careful now. Helicopter is going away. Rally up. All right, here we go. Some Unidad fuckers approaching. Hit the deck. We don't have any new skills, so. Here we go. Once we're inside the factory, we take out control systems and cocaine stocks. Then we get the hell out. Get in, run around, and break shit. Copy that. Let's tag as many uh, enemy operators as we can. Make sure that we know a bit where the tangos are lo located. Another tango. Eyes on a gun turret. I think securing that gun tower uh, is going to be our priority. I got a third. From there, we can use uh, fire I against. That's five. Damn, this is a rather heavy target. We also need to take out that alarm. In fact, we need to consider that alarm our priority. I got a narco over here. I don't see him. There, by the container. Roger. By the container. Tango down. I mean, he must have been on some kind of shit. Because he didn't see us at all. Alright, let's move. Across the street. Watch the cars.
Move up. Rally on me. I copy. Moving. All right, keep an eye out. We got one tango to the left. We better try and make this quietly. Quietly. Gentle tap. Tower. One tango. Got the alarm. That was the last alarm. They won't be getting reinforcements from the air at least. We got a mounted weapon. Mounted weapon is gone. Head inside. Cocaine stockpile. Clear so far. Keep it moving. Guy is leaving. Nice. Let's see if we can't try and sweep and clear the rest. Clear. Gun turret is down. That was fucking close. Yeah, that was fucking too close. One is coming to you. He's down. Hold up. They're gonna spot you. It is entirely possible of us heard that. Keep an eye out. Nah, we're good. I got one narco. Over by that stack of tires. Roger that. I'm on him. Here you go for your singing, compadre. Got him. Tango they down. They see you. I'm heading back down. Tango down. We clear. I would like to destroy the SAM launcher, but it's only going to be a temporary measure. And I don't really have the explosives to spare. I like how it wants to teach me how to place a C4 when I don't have any C4. Alright, let's go. We're across the street, let's punch in the code and let's go. Keep an eye out for weapons caches. Yo, I got a weapons case here. Oh, I could use this. We got a 5.7 uh, pistol in case anyone wants it. We're good to go. Yeah, we are good to go. Breach, breach, breach. Oh, come in. We'll hit the control room first. Copy that. Let's see if there's any tango in there. Let's brick this shit. Controls are foobard. That'll shut down the factory for months. Where to next? Search the warehouses. We take out any cocaine stocks we find and then we exfil. Copy that. This is gonna be loud. Okay, so we got the first cocaine stocks this way. I can see one tango, let's take him out. No, I don't want to drive the truck, I want to take this guy out, please. Y'all should have brought more men. We're clear, okay, we're keep alive. it up. 
One tango up ahead by the container. Let's get that bastard. There are at least two of them, one a bit further away. Gentle tap. I'm gonna engage this guy. Make sure he can't intervene. Tango down. A bit messier than I expected, but it's it's all good. Let's grab as many supplies as we can. Stockpile. Let's refill. Frag out. Come mierda, culeros. Tango down. Let's grab another grenade. Frag out. Get some. Take out the stockpile. Got Let's it. Go. We're refilled Shit. with the... I think the explosion got their attention. Yes, I think the explosion got their attention. So keep moving. Make sure that we stay undetected at all times. Over. Tag whatever supplies you can on the en route. Yeah, we got two curious fuckers right there. Back it up. Back Tank it up. goes down. We got him. Now we need to get the hell out of here. Move to the second cocaine stockpile. As quickly as possible. Move there. Stack up. Submachine gun right by that stack of tires. All right, team, stack up. Punch it. Open. Taking out the control room must have shorted the locks. Stack up and sweep the building. Take out any cocaine stocks you find. Roger that. God damn it. We're hit. Yeah, don't revive me until the guy's dead, please. Make sure the tango is down before you revive me. Yeah, Fucking thank hell. you. There's a stockpile. Let's take it out. And the enemy knows we're here now. This is not going to be fun. However, it might actually be fun if we can use this gun to take out the stockpiles. Nope. Gun is inefficient in right out. taking out cocaine stockpiles. I think we can Frag safely out. assume that we've been compromised and. Let's keep moving. Damn, that was a whole shitload of polvo we just wrecked. Somebody's gonna be pissed. Hold up. Yeah, someone's gonna be pissed, and that someone might ju just be me. Frag out. Damn, that was a whole shitload of polvo we just wrecked. Somebody's gonna be pissed. This will put LMSR Luke nuts in a vice. He'll have to come out of hiding to deal with the fallout, and then he's ours. Everyone in. The human race has survived for like thousands of years, and if our senses were wrong, we would have been eaten by saber-toothed tigers like a long fucking time ago. Enemy ground control is incoming. We need to get out of here now. At first I was like, what you talking about, way? But then I'm like, oh, mierda, you're right. When I'm all coked up, when I'm stoned this shit, my eyes don't see the same. My ears don't hear the same. I'm just like, so which one's more true? The world. All right, let's see where the next. We have a major intel in this area. I think that will be 
the best option for us to go and grab. It's just down the street, basically. Or the world you live in when you're sober. And, you know, I ain't been sober in so many fucking years. I don't even know how to answer them. Maybe neither is real. Maybe they're both real. I just talk the talk and spin the tools that make your asses bounce. This next track, a classic from back when I was sober. It's for all you fellas out there who have given up on sobriety and embraced a different version of truth. Found the blanket outpost. We need to clear it as quickly as possible. Five hundred meters to the next objective. All right, let's get out. Of There's a smaller outpost up here where we can probably find some intel. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Suppressors on. Go. We're good to go. Check the skill points. So we got the Okoro locations for the skill points. The next area is gonna be Hostile tricky. Presence. Hey, we got a narco. Tell me where. Close to the turret. The drone is up. Copy that. One narco is uh, on the mounted weapon. We have a couple of more narcos guarding the helicopter and by the fucking mortar. That mortar and that gun needs to be destroyed before we go loud, if we go loud. Uh, we also have a flank guard in the form of a sniper right here, but he is unsupported. Uh, most likely we go up, take out the sniper and proceed down the left flank. Getting a clear shot on the sniper should probably not be that big of a problem. The problem is going to be crossing the street while the guy on the on the weapon is still Yeah, he's down. Sniper's next. Need to move before they find the body of the gunner. Hopefully they don't just think he's coked up or something like that. Hang back, that tango might start. Yeah, tango down. I got the guy. I don't have a clear shot. Keep moving. The mortar is next. Hang back before they spot you. There is a total of three tangos in this. Tangos down. Keep moving. We got a Sicario close to the camp entrance. Mortar's down. Hold up, they're gonna see you. Let's take out the chopper guard next, and then we should be clear for the moment. Clear. They're gonna see you, hold up. Okay, now we're clear. It's a Santa Blanca commendation. The Sicarios will be missing this. Let's grab as many supplies as we can, and... Uh, grab the commendation. You think Santa Blanca gives out a lot of these? Let's check what skills we can acquire. Of course we're gonna need C4. Also increased batteries for our drone should be top priority. Alright, let's see what we can get. Got something here. Looks like the cartel is operating a cocaine lab on board a converted fishing boat near Campoana. This is just the kind of target we're looking for. Taking out the lab will turn up the heat on El Emisario and force him into the open. Copy that. For this mission, we are going to. Oh, yeah, we need to find an ammo box for that. 
All clear. All clear. For this mission, we are going to rearm ourselves a bit and get a somewhat different style. We have quite a lot of different weapons here. Everything from, you know, the MK-14 Occult and stuff like that. Uh, actually, the M14 Occult would be a really good option for this one. I mean, it's a, f it's a select fire uh, sniper rifle and it fits Kevara style. I was going to go with the M40 sniper rifle, but hey, I mean, uh, you can't deny that this weapon basically looks like it was made for Kevara. Uh, with the only annoyance being the fact that it actually has a... For some reason, it has a laser sight. I have no idea why it, why it got that. Of course, there is also the... We can go actually go back for it, because it's an equally awesome weapon. Um, I should have it somewhere. Yeah, the MK-14 Captain. It also looks a bit like something a cab would use. And it actually doesn't have a laser sight. So, I actually think that one might be the better option for this operation. Uh, so, let's... It also fires bursts, uh, not semi-automatic. So, I think this is the long-range weapon that Cav will use for taking out the drug lab. I got it. I'll fly. I like the fact that the guard at the gate have basically no idea that we just killed every one of his friends. He just doesn't care. There is, however, a medicational medication convoy that we could try. I mean, we have guns on this thing. Uh, investigate until we s spot the escorts, because sometimes the escorts can take some time in materializing. Oh wait, those the dark oh, cars for the escorts. Escort vehicle destroyed. See, this is why I have Ready this, why I have this rule for, for myself that I don't get to summon vehicles because don't if I did, summoning just summoning. Uh, an attack helicopter would be far too easy. Cartel Sicarios are engaging. Where the hell did they come from? Target is down. Let's land this. Oh, wait. Engaging Sicarius, danger close. Oh crap, Unit that is on alert. We need to get, put this bird down, tag that thing, and go. We do not have much time. Oh crap. Well done. I'll have the rebels come pick this stuff up. We need to get to cover and go now. We're hit! God damn it. Please clear the area before you revive me, okay? Just do me that favor. They're not doing me that favor. In fact, they revived me right in the middle of the fucking firing line. Come on, people. We need to go. And I mean go now. The helicopter's gonna blow any second, so we need to get... Clear. We need to get clear and abandon this helicopter. We managed to break contact, but we need to abandon this helicopter. It's not gonna work for us uh, for all that long. Also, we're heading in completely the wrong direction. We're supposed to head in that direction. We actually managed to uh, accidentally go into, into the command. I can't even pronounce the name. Come on, this region or something like that. Like I said, we need, we are eventually gonna have to put this bird down because right now flying with it is quite dangerous. 
We have a parachute, so at least we can do that. But we need to find some kind of alternate means of transportation first. God damn it, that was close. Too close and really not worth it, in my honest opinion. So we are going to climb and we are going to make sure that... Uh, yeah, basically a parachute drop into the uh, target area would be a good one. But I don't like how much smoke we're actually trailing here. Two clicks out. I have the target on visual. Go! Pull the chute. The helicopter dropped into the water. That suits us just fine. Let's drop on the field here and see if we can't. There we go. We're clear. We're on the ground. We have a visual visual on the target. Sniper in the tower. Sniper out there. Lots of enemy marksmen. Submachine guns. He makes five. That is going to be very long distance for us. In fact, it's so long distance I don't feel comfortable taking the shot from here. But then again, if we use one of the local beaches and try and steal a boat, I'm fairly certain we are going to get compromised. Let's try and infiltrate quietly. I got a Sicario with a submachine gun. There, next to that floating lab. Roger that. I don't think there's gonna be any chance for us to do this quietly. Uh, or at least without any casualties. I think uh, what we need to do here is uh, sweep and clear as much as we can. Let's see if we can't get up here. Tango down. Get down before they see you. Yeah, we're suspected. Very suspected. Tango down. Tango down. Reloading. We don't have much ammunition for this thing. Crap, we do not have enough ammunition. Tango down. Civilian. Tango. Tango on the bridge. Move to cover now. Coming up on the objective. Let's get this done quick. We get aboard, find a way to destroy the lab, and then get clear. There we have one. 
Sniper out there. Out of ammunition. Find more cover. Pistol's not effective at this range. Yeah, let's go into the water and go around. We need to break contact and re-engage from another angle. I think my weapon of choice was not as good as I had hoped it would be. I think we are gonna have to change it. I mean, it doesn't have enough ammunition for starters. Sniper, get down. Sniper down. Let's sweep the helicopter pad. There's another sniper right there. Disengage. Watch the enemy snipers. Clear. Sniper. They've blown up the helicopter. That is going to be tricky for us. Get down. Counter sniper fire successful. Tango down. We clear. <sighs> Let's just... Let's change our loadout and... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just switch back to the 416. As for skills, we might want to have more stable aim for the future. That's a civilian. Let him go. Tango down. Keep it moving. Let's get on board the boat and see what damage we can cause. Boss, we ain't got enough charges to sink this bitch. You got any ideas? Everything we need's right here. All we gotta do is turn on the gas. Gas is running. Now all we need is a spark. Then we run like hell? We most definitely run like hell. Job's done. Let's get the hell off this boat before it explodes. Leg it. Let's take the boats on the other Move side of the island. This thing's about to blow. Rally up, people. Copy. We need a visual to confirm that it really is blowing as well. Everyone clear? Beautiful. day you blow shit up is a good day. El Emisario is gonna have to deal with this quick, or his granddad will skin him alive. We'll keep turning up the heat until he jumps. Then we get him. Buckle up, people. All aboard. I'm in. Let's roll. Alright, uh, we'll check the Major Intel at this point, close to Puerto Grande. Let's go. Take out the sniper on the bypass. Fire, fire, fire. Come on, hit the guy. Ah, oh, never mind. Let's just leave him with his mates then. Let's go up this road and what 
see what we can find. Night vision is active. Eyes up. We got hostiles in the area. Yeah. This is Yo, Sicario with a submachine gun. Where you got him? At the checkpoint. <sighs> ah, crap. This place. Let's investigate and see if we can get this. I got yep. a Jenny. I'm calling for indirect fire. Fire support. Power's been cut. All they know is that they got subjected to a mortar attack. They will start hunting and that means they will oh, break their go. routines. But they have not seen us. In fact, what we want to do is try and keep it quiet until things have calmed down. Then they will have a break in their routines and we can... They're coming right at us. No, they're not. They have no idea where we are. We have at least two tangos heading towards the direction from where the mortar was fired and that's good for us. They have also abandoned their heavy weapon. I'd say that salvo was worth the, worth the risk. Tango down. Move. However, we missed that guy, and now we're in a stand up firefight. A rather serious stand up firefight as well. Tango down. Well, at least they're not going for. They're not doing the sensible thing. They're not arming, you know, the. Oh, wait, he is. Moving to position. Take that guy out. Say the word. Fuck. Engaging. Nice. Move. Okay, we're out of ammo. Switching to sidearm. Get to cover. We are in cover. Grenade out. Taking flanking fire from the checkpoint. Nice one. Let's go. Katrina, I come all the way out here to see you, and it's like talking to a wet sock. Honestly. Coordinates here. Looks like a location of a coca paste lab in Okoro. You want to take it out? Absolutely. The more we disrupt El Emisario's operations, the more pressure we put on him to come out of hiding. That helicopter is. I'm moving to position. Eyes on a sniper. Once you have him, take the shots. Good to go. Nice. Let's grab the SB. Wait. There is some information in the other building. I'm gonna tr try and grab that before we go. Good. We got weapons. Let's see here. We have uh, the SR635 up here at this at the next door mission, so that's where we're going. And we are off the deck.
almost there. Nice house. We have a problem right now. The problem is that we are completely dry on ammunition. Uh, we c actually could try and go down to the nice house and try and liberate some ammunition from uh, the guard shack. Do that. Oh wait, they actually left their ammunition on unguarded on, on uh, the outside. That's nice. Ah crap! They they have a sniper on the roof. So now I need to get the fuck out of here as well. Whoever's guarding this house most likely do not want to have the Brazilian special operators running around the bushes. What do you guys think? Exfiltration right, now. Exfiltration complete. There's just a lot of cliffs to scale here. Make it quicker, let's engage night vision. Hold up, we got hostile activity. Yeah, smaller outpost just ahead. I can see one guy in the tower. Sniper. Yo, He's down. Near the ruins. We clear out the ruins first and see what we can find. Clear. Has to be more of them around here. Some bastard we haven't haven't found yet. I was about to say. Clear over here. Okay, we clear the outpost. Sadly, there does not seem to be any ammunition in here. I would have hoped there would be. But right now we are in a bit of a pickle. Alright, let's Look start alive, the reconnaissance me. and... Watch out, place is rigged with an alarm. Yeah, I see it. Light panels over here. Just spotted one with submachine guns. I got a third target. I got a target carrying submachine guns. That makes fun. This is going to be an extensive target. I mean, there is a lot of shit. And since there are two alarms, uh, using a mortar to take Just one of one them out will guns. not help us. They also have a secondary outpost guarding the ocean. Generator spotted. You want to shut off their power? Yeah, actually, shutting down their power might be the most beneficial option. But then again, uh, I'm not entirely convinced. All right, we'll leave a mortar strike at the generator as a last resort. But until then. Our objective will be to try and take out the alarms first, and do so more or less in person. Everyone copies? Good, let's go. I got one narco at the entrance to the camp. Roger that. We'll set up a base of fire here and see if we can't use it to engage the alarm. Nah, I need to be closer. Yes, I said closer. Move as close as you can and engage those knockers on close blank range. Tango down. 
This is a lethal mission. We are clear to f open fire on identified targets and threats. Oh it's crap, they game. saw it. One alarm is down. Alarms are all disabled. Yeah, both alarms are disabled. There will not be any reinforcements. Ah oh, shit, we've been spotted. Alright. Drone is up. Secondary solution is a go. I call the rebels for Fire the for effect. Fire. Power's out. Tango's down. Let's go, go grab more ammo. We're gonna need it for the fight up ahead. Let's secure the helipad as well. It might be beneficial to do that before our exfiltration. They got no power, they got no idea. Clear, keep it moving. Unarmed. Then go down. Grab the ammo and go. Unarmed. Leave him alone. Then go down. Then go down. Third one. Opening fire. Yes, please do open fire, because we are compromised. Grab more ammunition. That fucker did not know what hit him. Tango down. Move up. Unarmed. Do not engage. Next to the container. No, take cover. Got him. This is far too tight for my taste. Grenade, get to cover. Grenade. Let's grab whatever intel we can. This is the location Go. of a cartel commendation they're awarding to some guy who killed a few rebels. He's down. Hold up. There's a weapons case here. He's down. He's down. Looks nice. Like these Unidad guys want to sling some lead. Ah, crap. Unidad is in on this too now. Nice. Nice indeed. Let's switch our weapon to that one. The SR actually does fit Cav as well, so let's just add it to the list and Polymer Buse. Um, yeah, let's give her the Polymer Buse, the Extended Mag, a Standard Knight's Ornament Foregrip, Laser Sight, Short Barrel, and a Compensator. There we go. It's getting lighter, too. Come on.
Come after me, bro. So the blank is engaging Unidad. That's a good for us. It's also bad for us since it means the local unit of the patrol will be on alert. Down, get down, chopper. Unidad is sending reinforcements and that's grenade, bad for out. us. Grenade, grenade. We need to get inside no matter the cost. Frag out. Tango down. Go. Chopper, hit the dirt. The chopper doesn't worry me as much as it maybe should. Frag out. Get Frags it. out. Coming up on the objective. Get ready. We need to get inside and destroy their mixing vats and ovens. Taking those out will shut the place down for months. Frag out. Come mierda, culeros. Frag out. Next frag. Locking and loading. Put a dead bird frag out. Stay down. Sight's destroyed. Elements Sight has been destroyed. Elements are his head out of his ass, or pretty soon he won't have an operation left to run. That's the plan. Newman, this is Pat Katari. The damage you've done in Okoro has made El Emisario very nervous. He's terrified of what El Yayo will think when he finds out how much production capacity has been lost. Sounds good so far. To make up the difference, El Emisario has ordered his men to take over a hospital in Okoro and convert it into a cocaine lab. Son of a bitch. We must keep the cartel from taking over the hospital. It's vital to the people of Okoro and to my people as well. I have sent a small force to defend the building, but it's not enough. They won't last long without help. Understood. Tell your people we're on the way. We are getting the fuck out of here. Down. Get down. Chopper. Get towards the coast and prep to take out the helicopter. If we can rid ourselves of the helicopter and grab some kind of... Yeah, basically just swim at this point. <sighs> we got out all right at least. Unidad bird approaching, stay down. Unidad bird is not pursuing us. We are right now in a bad position right here. Let's go. Unidad has uh, stepped down their patrols. I think that's all of them. Good, we're still in Okoro, and the hospital we need to go to is over here. Looks like we might have to libera liberate ourselves the helicopter. Oh crap. Enemy has re-engaged. <sighs> Let's rest here for a while. Unidad is still engaging Santa Blanca. We can probably use this to get to our helicopter and out before Not anyone knows this. Stay sharp. Yo, cartel gunman. <laughs> we 
We attach suppressor to weapons. If we engage, I want it to be as silently as possible. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Airborne. Yeah, that's the helicopter we left there. It should be all right. Clear over here. First part of the Santa Blanca outposts have been cleared. Got Second one is up ahead. <sighs> Tango down. For some reason, they got an entire car here full for themselves. Everybody hold up. We got hostiles in the area. Ah, crap. There's another nice house here. It's probably the same nice house here, and that means we can't get up to uh, where we need to go. Also, daybreak is here, so... You know, I do have a guess on who is owning this nice little house. Sniper out there. Okay, we're still good. Let's see if we can find some other mode of transport. Yeah, there's another helicopter right behind the Buchan house here. So we might actually be able to get his wheels instead. All right, breathe easy. Oh, this is actually a quite nice place. I mean, just imagine having this in your garden. Would be a pain to clean, but hey, that's what you got staff for. Yeah, I see him. I got eyes on the sniper. Clear. Looks like the uni dad went to, went and had a visit. But at least we got our transportation now. We're off. We can't afford to dally. Uh, hospital. El Emissario is staging an attack on a local hospital. And Pakatari needs help to defend it. It's your call. But helping Katari now will buy us a lot of support later on. Oh, here we go. They've seen us. Okay, almost there. Three clicks and counting. Okay, so basically, there's one thing we're gonna need for the hospital level, and that is firepower. There is nothing subtle about this stage. It's just basically firepower, firepower, and you guessed it, more firepower. We're gonna see about putting the bird down a bit out of harm's way at least. And we need to find an ammo box so we can restock before the mission. Up on the hospital now. Doesn't look like El Emissario's made his move yet. Let's 
Yeah, Kev actually looks pretty decent with this with this uh, gun as well. If you're wondering why Ansel is not right you, really doing what it should, uh, it's or rather why the picture is gliding, is because basically my joystick and throttle is interfering with. So we have an ammo box here, let's pick our loadout. Now for this one we could pick her AK, which is a weapon I think uh, Kevera would detest. Uh, I mean utterly detest. I mean it actually has some kind of color to it and I'm not really sure Kevera uh, knows what color is. So we can choose the AK-47 Uprising, uh, which is more her style. I mean more revolutionary, a little, little more stylish to the point, so to speak. Unidad chopper, stay low. Yeah, we don't want to trigger the hostilities with any Unidad chopper in the air. Uh, because the Unidad might just think that, hey, rebels must die and uh, that will just be a big bummer and stuff like that. So we're refilling our ammo, meaning we have... Uh, Two more drums. Get tal, compas? You've come just in time. A scout tell me the Misario's men are on the way. How's it looking here? We've sent away as many doctors and patients as we could. Was a few trucks loaded with medicines and vaccines. That way, if the hospital is lost, at least there will be something left for the sick and injured. Ya yeah, pues. My daughter was born in this hospital. Now here I am, carajo, defending it from cartel thugs who want to turn it into one of their damned cocaine labs. Is nothing sacred to these people? Nothing but death, Koopa. That's why we're here. El Emisario's men could hit the place at any moment. We need to get dug in tight before the shooting starts. Roger that. All right, we got the big gun. However, that gun only... Get to cover. Frag out. Opening fire on these... Crap. Enemies coming from from the front. Clear. How we do it? Spin her up. Target destroyed. Shift balls confirmed. Good shooting. Let's clean up and move on. The rebel support is invaluable here. At least they're drawing the attention of the enemy, putting some more bullet holes in their cars. Here they come. Down the front. Down the front. Where are they moving? Yeah, one down the front, one down the flank. Helicopter, get down. Oh crap. One car, one helicopter. Get a grenade right on that car. And me move. I'm shooting these fuckers. One less helicopter to down. worry about. Grab more ammo. We're clear. Y'all good? Yeah, we're clear All so far. Are down. Area is secure. This is Bowman. Looks like you really stirred the shit in Okoro. Word of your attacks has gotten back to El Sueño, and he's out for blood. El Yayo's trying to cover for his grandson, but he's caught between a rock and a hard place. El Sueño is demanding an explanation from El Emisario, and El Yayo's trying to come up with a solution that keeps his grandson alive. What's this do for us? El Yayo's been on the phone with El Emisario for most of the day. And we've been able to triangulate his position. This is our chance. El Emisario's twisting in the wind. We bring him in now, he'll give up everything he knows. Give us the location. We'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's go for loadout and uh, switch to MP5. I'm really fond of this thing, you know. Uh, and for some reason, I just fi think the MP5 really fits Kevera too. I can't actually put my point, uh, put my finger on why, but yeah, ammo capacity. We want to increase ammo capacity. I can't pick up why I think the MP5 fits Kevera so nicely. But it Somebody just does, to okay? Somebody to me why we're extracting El Emisario? We know he only got where he is now because of his granddad. It ain't like he's a mover and shaker in the cartel. You got a better idea? Sure. Leave the asshole twisting in the wind. Why else did we go to all this trouble in Afgaro? Emisario's just a pawn. Bowman's got her sights set on El Yayo. If El Emisario disappears, Sueño is gonna have to blame someone else for what happened here. He'll turn on El Yayo, which gives us an opportunity to bring him in. Damn. When Bowman wants somebody, she don't fuck around. You got that right. Well, I guess we're, we'll have to go now. Actually, I have no idea where to go now because I can't... Oh, wait, there it is. The Bouchon house. The Coro's a mess, and Sueño is calling for El Emisario's head. Not even El Yeyo can protect him now. Track down El Emisario and bring him in. Let's see if he's willing to cut a deal. We know there's a SAM launcher down at the cocaine lab, so we'll need to do a longer route past. Almost there. Rick clicks out. Bien, camarada. Congratulations on defending the hospital from El Emisario's men. We couldn't have done it without you. Don't mention it, Katari. We'll just add it to your bill. There is one more thing. Before El Emisario's men attacked the hospital, one of my people loaded a truck with vaccines and tried to get them to safety. Unfortunately, he was stopped at the unit at checkpoint and the truck was confiscated. It's vital we get those vaccines, Yankee. The truck is at a unit at base now. I know it's asking much of you, but frankly, there is no one else who can do it. Understood. We'll see what we can do. There's actually a truck down there. Are we that lucky? Yes, that we are. Unidad has confiscated a truck full of medicines from the rebels. I want you to take it back and get it to Qatari's people. They'll make sure it's put to good use. All right, we'll set it down. Let's set down the helicopter here and infiltrate the base. We need to get these vaccines to Qatari's people ASAP. Let's get inside the outpost and find the truck and call ass. Copy that. There's at least one guy who just saw us. Down, they're gonna see you. At least we hopefully look a bit like you, Nidad. But it wouldn't explain why we landed outside the base. On we got a grunt all by his lonesome. Near that turret. Yeah, I see him. Deploying drone. Sniper in the tower. Got him. Drone away. Eyes on the package. Time to collect. Heads up, we got a turret. That turret Whoa, and that. Guys got an 80. Both the mortar and pretty much everything else about this place worries me. There is very little chance of us getting in and wholly undetected. Tango down. 9 mil to the head. At least we got the rain that will hopefully serve to muffle our... Yeah, we got one by the outpost right ahead. I got another. That's five. Most likely at least one in the tower. Yeah, sniper, sniper in the, the tower, tower, grunt on the ground. Grunts here and here. 
I wonder if we can scale the cliff, but uh, we can't do that as long as that sniper is keeping an eye out. No, consider the cliff off limits. It's too wet in this weather. We could probably pull it off in another way, but not when it's raining like this. Let's hope no one saw that. Okay, we're still good. Sweep the armory. Let's say hi to your friends. Cavera getting shit done. Grabbing the intel. Killing those supply choppers overhead. With this info, we can find and grab one of them for the rebels. There's one in that building. Might also be one in the armory. Armory clear. Tango down. Keep it moving. Okay, we're still good. On the deck. Tango down. Keep an eye out on that turret. I'm getting in position. Got him. Got him. Spotted one with submachine guns. We need to clear out that AD position. Got it. Moving. He's down. Crap, they know we're here now. Storm that AD position before they open fire. Water position is clear. Grenade out. You need that patrols are on alert. Into the truck, we're moving. Hang on, I'll drive. Santa We need to be very careful with the truck. I have a shot. Engaging. Midas, get out of the way and exhale on your own. Ah, crap. They're shooting up the vaccines, people. That is not making it easy for us. We're trying to blow up to the truck. We need to try and shake them if we can. It's only a problem because we can't really shake them on them. these kind of roads. Well, as long as they keep missing, I'm fine with it. Crap. The enemy lost contact briefly, but they may re-engage once we... Crap. Now the blank is engaging you, Dad. Blessing in disguise, people. Yeah, we lost them. Nice. Ah, crap. They found us again. They got rammed off the road by some well, really nice person. But we're almost there.
Lots of enemy activity in this village. Kind of wonders why the rebels chose it, but hey. Oh, come on! Cartel asshole. The there is literally cartel inside of the rebel base. Let's get out and just get get out and get out of here. Assholes are coming this way. What's the plan? Kevera does not look happy about the weather. Maybe it messes up her um, makeup or something like that. Uh, let's see here. We have a fuck ton. Of uh, ground to cover, so I think we will try and get down to the helicopter down there and grab it so we can use it to fly towards the next objective. We almost made it, people. We just need to disengage and make sure the next unit that patrols does not find us. And it's a quite desolate place, so... Yeah, they... Guitari, this is Nomad. The package has been delivered. It's all yours. Thank you, Kumpa. I'm in your debt. Those vaccines will save many lives. Nice one, people. All right, let's go. Katari, this is Nomad. We got the package you asked for. We're delivering it now. Bravo, my friend. Drive carefully. The glass ampules containing the vaccine are very fragile. Take a turn too quickly and... Uh... I get it. We'll be careful. Nomad out. Well... <laughs> almost there. Let's see where... Then. Yeah, there we have it. Small cartel outpost, at least two or three tangos, and one sounds up like a helicopter. I see a second target. I don't suppose you can just go up to them and and ask. Let's reload before we do anything else and switch to the HK. Yeah, I was fairly certain I clicked that. Yeah, there we go. So let's switch to the HK416. There we go. We now have the 416 armed and good to go. Uh, maybe put on a suppressor. There we go. I'll fly. All aboard. All right, good to go. Koro's a mess, and Sueño is calling for El Emisario's head. Not even El Yeyo can protect him now. Track down El Emisario and bring him in. Let's see if he's willing to cut a deal. Let's try and avoid the outpost, because I don't think flying over it twice is gonna be good for our health. Entry team, additional operators have just arrived. Welcome to the stream, Operator. Nice to have you here. As you can see, we are currently in uh, ghost mode, meaning that permadef is on, so if I die because people are like spamming the chat and I feel like I need to respond to that, well, who the fuck am I kidding? People are not spamming the chat, thankfully. Uh, so, it has been a couple of interesting uh, turns here. So we'll see what, is ha what happens. This is a mission where I traditionally have died. So uh, I'm going to put her down gently and try and be out of sight. Now the reason I picked the HK for this mission is that we're going to need a range. 
but of course I forgot to put the ACOG on it. So, and since it's ghost mode, it's not something I can fix. At least not in the field. So, uh, let's approach the house and see if anyone's home. El Emisario should be in that big nice house of his, so... As, uh, since we stole his chopper earlier, he seems like he got a new one, or Unidad gave the last one back. Uh, looks like he has beefed up security a bit. Hopefully the rain will keep most of them inside. Wait. We got patrols in the area. Probably a response to all the shit we've been stirring here in Okoro. Lots of them. Uh, we also have a few cartel guards around the back, but the drone is up. not nearly enough. That's ten targets. Uh, I think we should try and do this while this patrol is on the front of the house. Yeah, there's also sniper a sniper on the roof. Fiddler on the roof, so to speak. Oh crap, oh crap, 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 crap. Uh, basically, that was the biggest group of all the tangos, and if we engage them, this is going to go loud. I don't want this to go loud. Uh, they are very careful right now. I am currently unsure if I can prevent this from going loud. But there is a way I can even the odds. Rebel forces, fire for effect. Woohoo! This is gonna hurt them. Alright. Santa Blanca and Unidad are now firing at each other, so we don't have to do a fucking shit. Once they've cleared each other out, then we can go in and extract El Emisario. So hopefully they w I think Unidad is gonna win this fight, but it all comes down to troop quality and numbers. And right now, Unidad has the troop quality, while uh, Unidad has the numbers. Of course, we can make sure to make our own mark into the battle whenever convenient. Let's go. Coming up on the target area now. Get ready. Bowman can't wait to take a run at El Emisario, so watch your fire. We need to take Got him alive. Copy that. Crap. You did that patrol is on alert, and that is not good for us, in case you were wondering. Not that I actually think that you were, but hey. Careful now. Unidad reinforcements have arrived through the front gates. That means we get out of sight now. Uh, we should try not to engage them unless they specifically ask for it. Watch out! They're in bad shape. Take cover. Oh Take crap. Regroup at my Copy. position Move now. It. I need a backup. I have no idea where the fuck they are, but I need my team to get in here now. We got them at least. They got cartel reinforcements. Oh, come on. Cartel reinforcements too. Can't we just settle down as friends? Okay, that's the door. Keep an eye out. There is a possibility that at least one more unit that is in this room. Ladies and gentlemen. El Emisario has left the building. Killed himself rather than face his own grandfather. That's fucked up. I feel like we drove him to it. Come on, man, stop it with that shit. He made a choice. We need to check the body, see if he's got anything on him.
Got a suicide note. Bowman, this is Nomad. We found El Emisario. He's dead. What happened? He killed himself. Left a note to El Sueño taking the blame for the loss of the labs in Okoro. Guess the shame of failing his grandfather was just too much to take. We had El Yayo by the nuts, and now this. Guess he wasn't quite the fuck up we thought he was. He just didn't break the way we expected him to. It happens sometimes. Okay, the helicopter down the back would do need it. To get the job done. Same as you. Innovation versus experience. Technology versus tradition. Youth versus age. La gringa versus el yayo. I had been hoping they would complement each other, but they could not get along. They were too different. I have been producing cocaine this way for years. That's exactly the problem. Our product was so good, the demand was only increasing. We couldn't keep up. I don't care how you do it. Science, tradition, or voodoo. Just make more. Or I'll find someone that can. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here. We are, our job's not done until we. Ah, oh, crap! This is not gonna be easy. They're they're not even grouped up anymore. So. I need you there. Oh crap, what the hell? Holt, what the fuck are you doing? Rally on me. Roger, moving. Okay, we need to try and exfiltrate this place as quickly as possible. But we are not gon going to be... Ah, crap. Suppress. Frag out. Frag out. Getting out of here is going to be a bitch. One less to worry about. Far too many left. We've got a problem. Cartel soldiers incoming. Oh, come on! Why can't the sniper penetrate the window and we can't? Oh well. Let's get a drone out there and put some mortar fire on the boss. Ah, crap. This is not good. We are too fucking pinned. Okay, I'm gonna have to risk this. No, apparently I can't risk it. And Doctor, get down. Not only that, we are fucking out of ammunition as well. All the rebels put some indirect mortar, fire. go. Either that mortar Do hits square chopper. on or we die. Let's put, take one of their R5s and hope for the best. We do not have that much more ammunition for that one, to be honest. There's very little ammo in these R5s. God damn it. Shift position. Roger. <sighs> so basically out of ammo and Hit the target helicopter. Out, out of ammo and cornered. Unit that patrols are on full strength. We go now. We run. Just fucking run. Run for the helicopter in the back and we run for it straight on. We got the opening we wanted and that we're gonna take it. We're losing unit cohesion. Closing ranks. Yeah, do that. Spread out, people.
Let's see where we have a decent... Yeah, we're gonna tr try to get to the Coro Delta. And we're gonna do so by doing some fancy low flying. Once there, the rebels can provide cover fire unless we have... Unless we have sh shaken off the enemy before. Them. Stay low. We need to be able to shake the enemy. Yeah, we nice got job, it. Hotshot. Your team's done a number on Santa Blanca's share of the cocaine market and liberated God the fucking damn it. That was tense. A lot of innocent lives. We aim to please. The cartel may dial up their efforts to make up for lost revenue. Maybe. But if they're not signing paychecks, they're losing loyalty. You know it. I'll be in touch. One click away to the safe house, then we'll settle down. God damn it, that escape innovation was intense. Because running out of ammunition when you really can't refill it in that matter is... Uh... Oh wait, I think I actually might have chosen the safe house that is right in the middle of a cartel base, but at this point I don't really care. Let's just sell down and get inside the safe house. Wouldn't it be fun if my helicopter just crashed right now and I died with that after everything else? Junkie, now what is the cartel gonna do without cocaine labs? Still too bad about the Lemisario. I don't think he was a bad guy. He was just weak, you know? So we got ourselves a Unidad R5. Let's check the map. Uh, apparently, yeah, El Emisario is down and that gains us at least uh, 400 more points. Let's see if we actually got them this time or if... Um, What's going on? Yeah, we actually got the prestige credits. So we are gonna get one of those prestige credits. And we might as well open it immediately. See what we got. What the hell is that? I mean, it looked like he has some kind of nosebleed. Some kind of very annoying nosebleed. And trust me, I know everything about annoying nosebleeds. So, that is the second part of this. Are you kidding me? Are they actually selling resources now? They are actually selling. You know. I'm not gonna say anything about that. I don't have the energy to. When it comes to Ghost Recon, I learned long time ago that I need to pick my battles, and I'm not gonna whine about them selling resources. So, that's about it, and we are gonna try another region, most likely tomorrow or this weekend. Uh, I'm trying to, to play them in sequ not really in sequence, but uh, so that we have um, that I play th through a single region at a time. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, but uh, Kevera is going to leave the building, and thank you for tuning in. So far, so good. <laughs>